A hotel estate in recently allowed pets, which was unusual. What wasn't unusual was the level of dirt clearly visible on the carpet. This place either didn't clean, which I find quite hard to believe, seeing as it was cleaned daily in all the time I was there, or they use a Henry-like straight suction head type commercial cleaner, which never do a good job, especially with her. First, I thought I'd see what was lurking in the furniture, so I used the excellent hair screw tool and extracted this small mountain of fine dust from just a single chair. I guess commercial cleaners don't make cleaning furniture an easy task, and it's often overlooked. I don't normally bring a vacuum cleaner on travel, but I could see a video opportunity, and the V15 is so small and lightweight for a mains replacement machine that it was manageable. I forgot to bring my tripod, hence the shaky camera work. I was also so busy trying to vacuum and film properly at the same time that I didn't notice I'd gone slightly over the max fill line. Talk about a filthy hotel room. Really shows how bad their commercial vacuum cleaner is. As I've said before, you can have the best staff in the world that clean rooms daily, but if you give them junk tech to use, then you're just wasting everyone's time. This is what was extracted from the room in total. 67 grams, which for fine dust and hair is quite a lot. Dyson do cater for commercial environments, and their cordless vacuum line, including the V15, is available for use in hotels, as I've discussed in an earlier video. It would seem many places like this would benefit from higher quality products, especially if pets are allowed. Many naysayers who are against Dyson entering the commercial world for some reason, suggest it's too much effort for the housekeeper to empty the bin. It's seemingly not too much effort for them to do everything else in making up a room, but we'll ignore that apparently. I managed to empty the bin into the small room bin in a few seconds, without any mess or cost. It took a few more swipes to dislodge the dirt, only because I'd overfilled it by mistake. Not quite sure why anti-Dyson naysayers think housekeeping staff couldn't manage this quick step in between making the beds. They're quite patronising when you think about it. And despite all the animal and human hair all over the place, the anti-tangle brush bar performed perfectly in this real world situation rather than some of the absurdly unrepresentative testing you see from the worst sources on YouTube. While I was here, I decided to demonstrate how easy it is to clean carpets, and how hotels could so easily integrate this into workflow, on rotor or demand, in between checkout and check-in time. After vacuuming the area of loose particulate dirt, just chuck down some Zorb micro sponges and brush them in with an indoor broom. Wait half an hour, then vacuum them up, taking the sticky dirt and stains they remove with them. It's that quick and simple. Zorb is the best way to generally clean carpets, and as long as stains aren't wet, it's very quick to do.